Did you know that one of the most powerful and effective tarot readings that you can do is also one of the easiest? It is a one card tarot reading and literally anyone can do it. Even if you are completely new to tarot, you can receive amazing guidance and instant answers to your questions that are whatever's on your mind from career and finance to relationships or even your spiritual path. And you can also use it to help you with manifesting, to give you daily guidance or for meditation. So in this video, I'm going to be guiding you through a simple step-by-step -step process to get the answers that you need and align with your highest good, all from just one tarot card. So are you ready? Well, let's get started. Now, tarot is a beautiful tool that anyone can use for self-reflection, empowerment, manifestation, and advice. And the good news is that you don't have to be a tarot expert with thousands of hours of experience to really access its wisdom. In fact, anyone can do it with the right guidance and support. So here at Biddy Tarot, we really do focus on teaching you how to read the tarot intuitively and nothing makes us happier than providing you with the courses and the resources that you need to be able to become a confident accomplished reader and quickly so you can start receiving guidance straight away especially when you use my free tarot card meaning reference guide so just check out the links below and you can download your copy now all right so without further ado let's jump into a one card reading, even if you are a complete tarot beginner. So I want to give you an overview of the process, and then we're going to deep dive into each step one by one. Okay. So the process is like this. You're going to create a sacred space. Then you'll set an intention for the reading. You're then going to ask a really powerful question. And don't worry, I'm going to show you exactly how to do that in just a moment. Then you'll shuffle the deck, you'll pull a card and you'll interpret what it means for you. I'm going to show you how to tap into your intuition and the traditional meanings of the cards with ease, especially with that free guide. And then after your reading, you will also write down it, your card reading in your journal and that way you can come back to it later. So does that sound good? That is it in a nutshell. So now let's deep dive into each step so that that way you can feel really confident in doing a one card reading for yourself and get all all the insight that you need. Now, first, you're going to need to get your tools ready. So in this case, your tools are your tarot cards, a pen, a notebook, and something special like a candle, a crystal, or maybe some incense. And you'll also want to print out the free tarot card meanings reference guide that I've prepared for you. The links are below, or you can just have a book with meanings available so you can refer to those later. And remember, again, all those links to the free card meanings guide are below, and you can access that all now. So you're all set. Great. Now, once you've got all of the things that you need, it is time to create your sacred space. Now, creating sacred space really helps you to tune into your intuition and it allows you to open up to new possibilities. And it also reminds you that this is a special time and it really gives you that separation from your day to day busyness. And sadly, it's a step that we often skip. You know, we're in a bit of a hurry. We think, oh, we don't need to do all of that. But trust me, doing this step is what will connect you with your intuition. It's what removes all of that monkey mind and just gets you very clear and focused. So first you need to find a space where you're not going to be disturbed. And then you can light a candle, you can burn some incense, maybe hold a crystal, just do anything that really makes you feel uh, sacred and special. Like this is your special time. Then close your eyes, take a few deep breaths, take a moment to tune in, and just notice how you're feeling emotionally and physically and just observe, just notice. You don't need to get into the story. That's it. Then you can ask your higher self, what do I need to know today? Right? What do I need to know today? And then just really listen deeply. And maybe you feel guided to ask about a relationship, maybe your career, maybe personal growth, or maybe you just feel called to ask for general insight into your life right now. Now, when you feel ready, you can open your eyes again. And then I want you to tune into your question a little bit more, because here's the thing. The quality of the answers you receive depend on the quality of your questions that you ask. So we often want to know if something is going to happen, right? We think our oh, tarot predicts the future, right? Or we want to know, are we on the right path? Um, things like that. And a lot of the time, 
these questions can come out with a yes or no answer. And so, for example, it might be like, is this the good opportunity or is this the right relationship for me? So you get the idea, yeah? Now, of course, it's perfectly possible for Tarot to answer questions like this that show a yes or a no or maybe a maybe. But let's be real, because there is so much more to Tarot than just a simple yes or a no, because Tarot can actually show you these different pathways and possibilities and it empowers you to take action that are aligned with your goals. So instead of asking questions that might lead to just a yes or a no, I want to encourage you to ask and ask open-ended questions. And open-ended questions might be like, what do I need to know about this opportunity or relationship? What do I need to do about this opportunity? Or how can I improve my relationship? So you kind of feel that difference in energy, right? Or maybe for a general daily reading, you might just simply ask, what do I need to know today? So open-ended questions really do allow for more space for you to explore the possibilities and to start to empower yourself to be able to achieve the things that you truly desire. So my invitation to you is see if you can turn your question for this simple one card reading into something that is more empowering and open-ended and then write your question down. All right, beautiful. So now you are ready, my friend, to pick up your tarot cards. It's finally the time. So shuffle your deck. And as you do that, think about your question. You're channeling all of your energy into the deck. So be really intentional. Don't worry about the cards. Don't worry about other things. You're just channeling your energy and your attention. Now, when you feel ready or you feel like the cards are ready, then it's time to pull a card. And you can just pull a card from the top. If you prefer, you can fan them out and select a card that way as well. So take that card and place it face up and then you can set aside the rest of the deck. Now it's time to interpret the card. Now I'm sure the first thing that you want to do is go and look up the meaning on a site like Biddy Tarot or maybe to grab your tarot card meanings uh, reference guide. But here's the thing, I actually recommend that you don't do that, certainly not as the first thing. Why? Because it actually disconnects you from your intuition and you start to switch into this left brain of reading and analysis mode. And you can even end up searching for the answer that you want rather than the answer that you need. Now, I know you might be thinking, oh, I just don't know how to access my intuition. I've never done it before, but don't worry because it is actually super easy. Anyone can do it, including you. So let's do this together. Okay. So you've got your card. And then I just invite you to take a nice deep breath in. You're just relaxing, you're centering, you're grounding your energy, you're tuning in, you're bringing your, um, your energy into your heart space so that you're ready to interpret from your intuition. And then look at the card. So when you look at the card, what do you notice first? What images, people, patterns, colors, or symbols stand out to you? See where your attention goes. And then take a look at what's happening in the card. So how might that relate to your question or even your answer? Now, if the card could talk, what advice would it give you when it comes to your particular question? And now the last step is what haven't you noticed yet? So you've been looking at this card. What has not yet come into your awareness? So take a good look at the card and see what jumps out at you now. And what does that tell you about your question? And I love that one because it actually helps us dig that little bit deeper into our subconscious mind. Beautiful. So that really is your intuition talking to you, my friend. When you start to look at those images, the symbols, and you start to receive messages through that tarot card because it's just reflecting right back into your soul. That's why I love to see tarot as a mirror to your soul. Now let's take a look at the traditional meaning. So you've done your intuitive connection and now it's about checking in. Well, what does this card traditionally mean? Because it's about merging these two together. So you might actually be able to recall something that you've learned about the card in the past, or you can go and look them up on biddytarot.com or use our free tarot card meanings reference guide and you'll get those links below. Now, don't spend forever trying to find the meaning that you want. Just trust that you will see the meaning that is right for you in this moment, okay? Now, finally, you can combine that intuitive and traditional meaning to really see what message the card has for you and what answer it's really offering you. 
So write that down in your notebook and you can also journal about it to go deeper. I love spending a good 5, 10, 15 minutes to really start writing and just letting that writing and uh, messages just flow through me. And you might also want to journal on what you're going to do differently and how you're going to integrate this card and its message into your daily life now that you've received your answer, because that is really where the magic happens. Now, you can also take a photo of your card or maybe even draw it if you're pretty artistic um, and maybe even set it as your screensaver for today for today. So. Then in a week or two, what I want to do is invite you to return to your notes to see if there are some further insights that have come to you, because you never know what could unfold or what might even become clearer to you as time passes. So there you have it, my friend. Now you know how to do a one card tarot reading that can answer any question that you've got. And by using it regularly, both for insight and for practice, you are really laying down the foundations for a beautiful and intuitive way of reading the tarot cards. And here's the other really cool thing. Now, as you add to your notes and your experience, you're going to create this beautiful personal connection to every single tarot card. And that connection, my friend, is absolutely priceless. Now, if you want to continue your tarot journey and learn more about reading the cards in a more modern, approachable way, there is so much for you to explore here at Biddy Tarot because our mission is to help people like you around the world to develop their tarot skills, read the cards with confidence. And we've already helped millions of people and we would love to help you do the same. So just click the links below and you can get started straight away. All right, thank you and bye for now. Hey, if you love this video, then make sure you check out this next video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. See you next time.